the two topics that we've done, they both had codes, right? Do you remember what the codes were? Two letters and a number? What were the two topics that we just did? FM1. We just did FM1, financial maths one. AM1. What was the one before that? AM1. AM1, right? What does AM stand for? Algebraic. Algebraic. Manipulation is the fancy name, okay? That was AM1, right? We're about to do AM2. AM2. Now, it's a bit weird. It's called linear relationships, which doesn't sound like it has much to do with algebra. Except, number one, it does. And number two, one of the main things that was um, uh, a real theme through that HSC feedback day that I was telling you about was that the thing that most students struggle with in general is algebra, right? Like, algebra is hard. Alge algebra is kind of like uh, a weird game where the rules are just nonsensical. You're trying to memorize how it works. And I don't know if any of you have played that game. It's a card game called Mao. Has anyone played it before? It's a card game where literally you have to get rid of your cards, which is a normal kind of goal for a game. But there's one person who's like the card, the dealer, and he off. makes up rules. He makes up rules and you don't know what the rules are. And when you break them, you just get given extra cards. You're like, why do you get extra cards? And then really one of the typical rules is, if you ask why you got extra cards, you just get extra cards. <laughs> so it's a, it's a depressing game to play. And algebra can be a bit like that. So why, oh, why, why right? So now, <laughs> we're going to, I won't actually play with you because it's very, like I said, very depressing. Particularly if you have like a cool dealer who's just gonna, I'm not saying about what kind of dealer I would be. Anyway, <laughs> when you have a look at text, you should open up now. The chapter we're looking at is chapter 12. You're like, wait, chapter 3, chapter 1, chapter 12. Oh. We're going right to the end because it's the right thing to deal with early on so that we get those categories in mind, so that all the way through we can ask a few questions on them and really sort of master that skill. Okay? So that's why we're going to look at exercise 12a today. I'll write down the exercise it's drawing. But if you haven't already, I'd like you to open up to that on your computers. So, so I want to give you, uh, firstly, there's three main ideas that we're going to look at here. So I'm going to give you a very brief overview of the topic. Wait, what page is it? Uh, that's a really good question. The page I've got is... 403 okay. so what's on the, the PDF. M-A-O. So we're in AM2, and underneath your heading here, I want you to write three dot points. Now, um, when we're doing AM1, we're focusing just on the letters and numbers, just on the programmers, and rearranging, and solving, and so on, okay? We're kind of going to make a bit of a step and think about the visuals. Like, what does it look like? What does, you've seen something like this. Right? When I see that, when I write that, I have a picture in my head. Maybe you have a picture too, depending on how much you got to do over your 9 and 10. But if you don't have it yet, well, that's what this topic is about. Uh, I'll show you what the picture looks like. The picture is roughly... Uh, That's the picture in my head. And you're like, where'd that come from? Well, by the end of this topic, you'll know where. Okay. So the three topics, the three skills that you're going to learn, which will show you how to get from that to that, are number one. Is this, is this a bit weird? Yeah. Ah, because you don't know it yet. Are we going to reflect a little bit of last year when we have graphs? Some. Is that reading as in reading? Okay, so the first, the first main skill under, under linear relationships is, like these things, graphs, right? Which is short for graphical representation. Uh, these graphs, we want to be able to draw them and also read and interpret them. Okay, like once you've got one in front of you, what does it mean? Versus how can you make your own one? Okay, so that's what these two skills are about. They're kind of like literacy skills, reading and writing. Yeah, sorry. Um, the second thing is what we call modeling. Now, one of the reasons why linear relationships are so important is because heaps of things in the world are linear relationships. That means you've got two things, two quantities, and they grow or they shrink, and they grow or shrink together in what we call a linear way. Right? Um, it's kind of like thinking about it at the same rate. Just like if you go to, um, oh, what's an example? Okay. Uh, depending on the places you go to buy food, right? Some places they'll give you discounts as you get 
you know, larger and larger amounts. And other places are like, forget it. Like if you buy 50 of these, I'm still gonna sell it to you the same rate, jerks. But that kind of thing, that growth rate is a linear relationship. They're growing at the same rate together. So we are going to model different situations, things like money and what you have to pay using this kind of Okay, um, the last major skill, last major skill, doesn't sound like it's that related. Um, hands up, how many of you remember or met or encountered oh, no. last year? Oh, yes. oh. Simultaneous equations, how many? Yeah. Hands up, sorry, okay, hands down. I won't ask how many of you mastered it because I suspect that might be a bit of a depressing question to ask. Um, what this has to do with this is in fact this drawing that I just gave to you, right? 2x minus 5, there's a picture that goes behind that. And 3, there's a picture that goes behind that. Solving simultaneously is just where do these happen at the same time? Where is that spot, right? What's that value? That's all it means, right? That's just the picture for what it represents, okay? So we're really going to master that. Unfortunately, you know, it kind of just races by. You don't get the time to really devote to understand. 